Welcome to South Shore Scoop. My name is Eileen McIntyre. I serve on the board of the Hingham Historical Society. One of my volunteer roles with the Society is to head the committee that organizes our annual lecture series. I am here today to tell you about the new series that will begin in mid-September and run through early April of 2024. We have titled the new series, Suburbia, the American Dream. More than half of Americans today live in a suburb. I suspect that like me, many of you grew up in a suburb. And regardless of where in the United States you may have lived, suburbs have many common characteristics. How did that happen? Hingham today is a residential suburb of Boston, but for centuries, most of our residents had worked right here in Hingham, near their homes. When did the separation between home and work begin? These and other questions led us to assemble a group of experts in the field to explore the history of suburbia. For many, suburbia has long represented the American dream, but so much is changing now in where and how people work and live. So this series also includes programs that look at 21st century challenges for the built environment of suburbia. All programs are offered at 3 p.m. on a Sunday. Here is a brief look at our seven program lineup. Our first four programs look at the history of how American suburbs were created. First, on September 17th, we have a program with Kenneth Jackson, Professor Emeritus of History, Columbia University. Ken's book, Crabgrass Frontier, The Suburbanization of the United States, was honored with the prestigious Bancroft Prize when first published in 1986. The book has never gone out of print. Based on this landmark work, Ken will explore the sociological, technological, and political forces that shaped America into a nation defined by its suburbs. The second program on November 12th looks at the important role in suburban development played by the bulldozer in the years following World War II. Francesca Amon, Associate Professor of City and Regional Planning and Historic Preservation at the University of Pennsylvania, is our speaker. Her book, Bulldozer, Demolition and Clearance of the Postwar Landscape, examines how the bulldozer, along with the skills of newly returned Navy Seabees from war duty, became key to rapid land clearance for new suburban subdivisions and an ambitious highway building program. The third program on December 3rd zeroes in on greater Boston suburban development and the different types of suburbs which emerged. Our speaker will be James O'Connell, chair of the Massachusetts Zoning Reform Working Group and a professor at Boston University's Metropolitan College. Professor O'Connell is the author of The Hub's Metropolis, Boston's Development from Railroad Suburbs to Smart Growth. The fourth program on January 21st brings the topic close to home as we learn of the contributing factors and stages in Hingham's evolution, beginning in the late 19th century, into a residential suburb. This program will be led by Gordon Carr, a longtime Hingamite who chaired the town's master plan committee and is a member of the planning board. The last three programs bring 21st century issues into focus. On February 18th, Ellen Dunham Jones, professor of urban design at the Georgia Institute of Technology, will draw our attention to the way that changes in the suburban landscape, from streetscapes to redeveloped shopping malls, can improve sustainability while also enhancing health and well-being as we age. Professor Dunham Jones is co-author with architect June Williamson of Case Studies in Retrofitting Suburbia, Urban Design Strategies for Urgent Challenges. On March 10th, we have two speakers sharing views of the evolving American dream. Ruth Gilbert Whitner, who is part of the Education Committee that has organized this series, will guide us through recent demographic data and analysis pointing to a disconnect between today's typically smaller household size and less traditional household composition and the prevailing housing inventory. Joining Ruth is Chris Marsh, Associate Professor in Sociology at the University of Maryland. Professor Marsh's research reflects the impact of historic marginalization on today's black middle class in America. She is the author of The Love Jones Cohort, Single and Living Alone in the Black Middle Class. Professor Marsh will provide insights on decision-making in the black middle class today regarding marriage, wealth building, and where and how to live. We end the series on April 7th with a program that will be quite topical during a presidential election year. Our speaker, Lawrence Levy, is Executive Dean of the National Center for Suburban Studies at Hofstra University. 
Dean Levy, who for decades was a reporter and political commentator, will talk about the role of the suburban swing vote in U.S. national elections. We hope you share our enthusiasm for what should be a fascinating series. Most of our speakers for this series will be in person at the Hingham Heritage Museum, but all programs will be hybrid, so you will have the option to participate via Zoom. Subscription sales for members begin August 14th and for non-members on August 18th. Just go to our website, HinghamHistorical.org. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of South Shore Scoop.